So, Spider-Verse just came out. Let's talk about Spider-Man 2. I'm being totally serious right now. I don't want to talk about that shit movie. I want to talk about Spider-Man 2. I'm joking, by the way. That movie was so good. So that's what we're going to be doing today in this video. And boy, I got a lot of things to say about this game. Like, I don't even know how long this video is going to be. There's no skirt for this video, by the way. I I I'm just, like, pulling shit out of my ass right now. Like, you have no idea. This video is going to go into some weird territory. So, let's talk about the gameplay. First, we, we gotta talk about the combat because combat is awesome and we love to see combat. First of all, Symbiote Spider-Man. Bro was beating the absolute shit out of people. Y'all don't even understand. Do you understand how much I have been wanting black suited Spider-Man to beat the absolute shit out of all these mother and turn them into living pieces of Garbage. It seems like in this game, they're going to be going for more of the tentacle aspect for the symbiote. And God, I love that. I am so excited for that. I've played Web of Shadows, and bro, playing as the symbiote in that game was incredible. So being able to do this in the new game is going to be so awesome. Peter's combat is like looking so sweet and it's really brutal this time. He grabbed his webs and then brought some guy to the wall, then swung him to the other one, then jumped forward and then brought dude to Jesus Christ himself and freaking kick, 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 kick his ass all against the wall. It was so sick. And then, oh, oh. Oh, they got it to switch from him to Miles. Right, now we can talk about Miles' hey. combat. So, Miles' combat, bro, it's almost just as insane as Peter's, if not even more insane. What the f is bro doing? Like, I didn't really see, I don't really entirely remember much of Miles' is hitting. It seems like they were more focusing on his special attacks. It God damn! Miles! Bro is shooting Hadoukens out of his hand and then jumped over and then Hadouken to like three people at the same time! Bro, what? That's insane! Oh, I'm so excited! This is gonna, it's gonna be like so good. I love how like he's using his electricity more. Like I love how they're diving more into uh, his electricity powers, like his Venom Blast. Alright, I'm gonna get into a little bit of minor spoilers for Spider-Verse, so if you want to, like, skip this and not get, like, spoiled or anything, skip to this time code, please. 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 Okay, so, in Across the Spider-Verse, when Miles is returning into his, uh, his room with Genki, Genki is seen playing on his PS5, and then if you look at the TV, He's playing Marvel Spider-Man 2, which is awesome, first of all. And you got to see a little bit more of, like, Peter's combat in his classic suit. And it was it was looking really good. It was looking kind of similar to how he was with the symbiote, but also kind of like how he normally is. So I was like, oh, that's cool. And then when we saw Genki again, seemed like Peter uh, got the uh, spider arms from the uh, announcement trailer. Like, he grabbed somebody up in the air and then threw them up with the uh, spider arms and... That was really sick looking like. That was that was really dope. Um, but yeah, that's it for the uh, combat. Now we can get into the... So, stealth. Um, we didn't really get much of stealth, but what we did get was pretty damn sick. I, I loved it. So it seems like one of the gadgets you have is like a, a line. Like it goes to another place and it's really cool. I really like it. So then you have like an easier time doing stealth. And what's really cool is that you can finally do double takedowns, which I have been so excited for. Double takedowns, being able to do wall and ceiling takedowns and on like beams. Bro, this stealth is gonna be so good. Another gadget that is like new to this game is like you throw something onto the ground near like a couple enemies and then it'll all bring them to each other and then you can like take them all down at once with like maybe a special move. So yeah, that's stealth. Okay, let's talk about traversal. So, traversal in this game 
is very similar to the original games, which I was very much expecting. Like, I, I had very, I was like having like pretty good hopes of like, oh, maybe we might get like an easy swing system. And then you have a normal swinging and it's kind of like Spider-Man 2 where it's more physics based, which we didn't get that, but I, I can live with that. It's not, it's not like a terrible thing. Like it's not like something, oh, I can't live without this. No, I can, I can, I, I promise I can. So the animations are a little similar and everything. And it seems like, like there was this one move where Peter did a backflip and I was like, oh, that's so clean. Which, yeah, it, it, it really was not clean. Seems like the, uh, seems like the freaking Bro, I need to stop doing these hand movements. It seems like the... Why am I losing my train of thought? Oh, it seems like the web swinging is a little faster, which I really like. Web swinging being a little faster than the original games, that's just gonna bring traversal to where it was right here. Going up, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited for like the web swinging, but we don't just got web swinging in this game. We have web wings. You know how much I've been waiting to see web wings in a Spider-Man game? I love web wings. I love web wings! Web wings, it seems like you're gonna be able to glide and that means you're gonna go, be able to go like a lot faster. It's like another way to traverse and that just gives out like more to do, you know, when it comes to like swinging around and traversing around the city. So it seems like you're also gonna be able to like do a like slingshot and a slingshot. Oh, we haven't had that since Spider-Man 3. I'm going to die. Like, God damn, that's gonna be so cool. Hopefully it's not as broken as that game. But yeah, traversal, it's gonna be so sick. What I would love to see is like, maybe you can climb on your web kind of like in Ultimate Spider-Man. But that, that's, that's more something I can give or take, you know? All right, let's talk about that. Let's talk about suits. I love suits. Suits are awesome, by the way. So it seems like we've been getting some new suits with um, the new stuff that's been coming out recently for the game. Okay, the new suits, like the one for Miles, I don't entirely remember the name, but I know Peter's, the Arachno Knight. They both look really cool. But here's the thing that got me real excited. They both have capes. I love capes! You know how much I've been wanting a cape? I don't like playing as 2099 and remaster. I said it, I don't like playing as him. Wanna know why? Bro doesn't have a web cape. He needs a web cape. I won't play as him unless you give me the web cape, please. Like capes? Oh, I'm so excited for that. We're finally gonna get cape physics in a Spider-Man game. We can finally get the end of the Spider-Verse suit. We can finally get Miles with a glorious yellow cape. Besides those capes um, and those suits, we got new color variations. I've had some PTSD uh, with, with, with color variations. I, I don't like them that much, but it seems like uh, they won't really detract from the main suit. They're more of like selectable styles. So I really hope they bring back the classic suit because I think that would be so sick if they brought back the classic suit. And then they gave him a webman style. That would be so sick if they gave him a webman style. I mean, you just got to switch around the red and blue. It wouldn't, wouldn't really even be that hard to do that. And the com and the vintage comic book suit. We need a normal Ditko suit, okay? We got web wings as a thing. We just need web wings for suits. And boom, Ditko suit. Ditko suit shining in its full glorious glory. I love the Ditko suit. That's why I'm wearing right now, by the way. I'm wearing my Ditko suit that I made. Yee. So the vintage comic book suit. I was thinking that because we're going to be getting the classic suit, hopefully, hopefully, but if we get the classic suit back and we get a webman style, which I would not be surprised if we did, I think it'd be sick if they gave us another style that was the vintage comic book suit applied to the classic suit. That would just make my day, you know? That would, that would be sick. Because then you wouldn't have an entire another slot in the suits category. That's, that's just really cool. So then you just go with the classic suit. That would be awesome. Please do that. that that, that would just make like organizing suits so much better. I, I, did I tell y'all I have OCD? I probably did. Suits are gonna be sick. Some suits that I want, 
I would love to see Cosmic Spider-Man. Spectacular, probably gonna make it in. I would love to see Out of Shadow's black suit and the red and blue suit, but they probably have like rights issues, so they probably wouldn't even be able to do that, which kind of sucks, I guess, but hey, it, it's, it's still, it still would be cool if they were able to do it, giving tribute to other Spider-Man games from the past. That would be like absolutely epic. I would love to see the uh, 10th anniversary suit for Miles, but that's probably already gonna be in the game. But yeah, I'm really excited for those suits. Now we're gonna talk about the black suit because if I didn't talk about the black suit, people would probably get really mad at me in the comments. So the black suit, I actually like it. Yeah, yeah, put your hate comments in the comments below. I don't care. I don't care. I love the black suit. So I really like this suit, okay? It's the classic black suit. Thank you. God. I was getting sick and tired of seeing those dumb edits of the advanced suit and it's just black. It's, it's really dumb looking. I'm so glad they went with the classic logos, the classic look for the black suit. Some people are, are annoyed by the panels and like the goo on the suit. To me, bro, it just reminds me of a Xenomorph to be honest. Like I, I, I actually really like it. And it fits the universe, goddammit. It fits the universe. Like if you think about all the super villains, they all got armor, bro. They all got armor. It's insane. They all have armor. Rhino has armor. Electro has armor. Doc Ock has a bit of armor, mainly in the tentacles because he's Doc Ock and he needs armor on his tentacles. Um, I don't know why I said that. Um, Scorpion, even Kraven has a bit of armor on his new classic suit. It's sick. I mean, I don't really love all teched out suits. Like some of them are not great. Like. I honestly prefer it when some suits are just not like that. Like, I, I would have loved to see Electro, like, a little different than, than just, like, a weird chest piece on there. If anything, it looks like a backpack. Like, oh, little old Max, he's ready for school. No. Yeah, like, I, I like the black suit, okay? It really looks just like a xenomorph. You know, you got the armor platings that kind of, like, are in the shape of a muscle, which I think that's actually a really neat way to do armor plating for a black suit. And then you have the gooey segments on, like, the arm. It's not I actually pretty much like it and we're guaranteed to get the cloth black suit in the game like we're pretty much getting that and of course we're gonna be getting the freaking Bully Maguire suit like why why wouldn't we that suit is peak as f bro we, we need that suit in the game we need it in the game we need it okay so before we close out the suit section I just want to quickly discuss the digital deluxe edition suits now these suits, I'm, I'm sorry, they look really awful. They look like dogs. I don't know who would like these suits. The only reason I'm gonna be getting these suits is for completion. That's the only reason I'm gonna get these suits. They might look a little better in game, but right now, these suits look like a AI did them. These suits look disgusting. They look awful. They look, they look absolutely Horrendous! So yeah, that's that's pretty much all I want to say about the suits for this game. So yeah. So let's talk about characters. So first off, Kraven. You're gonna do excellent in this game. I'm so excited for Kraven. He's like, bro, time to hunt every person in New York. I will be the best hunter. I will be the best hunter. You like it's so sick. I'm so excited. Like, we got Wraith coming in. Like, that's gonna be dope. Back again with, with Craven. Like, sorry, I've been getting sidetracked. I really need to just use scripts for these videos. Off oh, script is not working well for me. But yeah, Craven, he looks like he actually poses a threat. The army thing, I'm not loving, but like, I can deal with it. Like, you need some, you need a group of people for the spider man to beat up. So, I respect that. In, in the comic book, the prequel to this game, we got the hood coming in and magic is getting introduced. So, we're probably gonna have a of that too so that's gonna be pretty unique for this game so for lizard like craven is hunting the lizard and everything i actually don't mind that lizard is like a big giant like kaiju monster thing i i understand that well i i do, obviously he's like a video game boss for you to beat the hell up you know it's it's not bad it's pretty good i like it i like lizard in this game like as big and it seems like uh by the implication in the uh, showcase it seems like he's just shedding and he's getting bigger. It's just his skin. Doesn't that mean he's getting bigger? So we probably are gonna get that classic lizard form. We might have a boss fight. We might have two boss fights with the lizard, actually. I think that'd be awesome. If it was like a standardized normal lizard. Or then you get the big kaiju lizard and then you beat the hell out of him. Like, that would be so sick, you know? Um, 
Symbiote. Bro, that made Peter a menace. Yuri Lowenthal. Get it, my guy. Holy sh**. Bro's a menace. I'm sorry, Bully McGuire. There's a new king in town. Holy sh**. Like, the fact when Miles was like, he's got big teeth. And then Peter was like, so do I. Ooh, look at me. Look at me stare into your soul, Miles. Ooh. Yeah, like, that was, that, that's awesome. Well, the fact, like, he's trying to protect Connors, but then he's like, I'm gonna beat the s*** out of him. And then with Craven, he's like, you messed with the wrong people in New York. But yeah, I don't think this is the first time Peter wore the symbiote. I think it's the first time Miles sees him wearing the symbiote. That's why Miles was like, new threads? At first, I was like, oh, wait, Peter has not worn this suit yet. No. I bet he has. I think it'd be weird if they immediately started off with him getting a black suit. He was like, I'm so mean. I'm going to beat the hell out of you, bro. You're going to die. Yeah, that's, that's that's good. So Miles. Miles is like the last person I want to talk about in this. Bro's going to be awesome in this game. Like, I'm so excited with how he has been treated for Spider-Verse and how he was in his own game and Spider-Man Remaster. Bro's going to be an epic player in this game. The fact, like, it's going to be kind of like a mentee versus mentor thing. That's kind of like Doc Ock and Peter, and I get a little repetitive. But I think it's because of, like, it's mentee and mentor with Peter and Miles, it'll be a little different because Miles is like, bro, square up. Come on. You think that black suit's going to beat me? I got Hadouken's mother. So, yeah, it's like... Damn. He's gonna be a great character. I bet they're gonna expand more into like, I, I wonder if he's gonna get on with Haley because I know they kind of hinted at that in Miles' game. I think I'd be sick. And I, I heard that like for the comic, I'm pretty sure it's like Miles is like, oh, all my friends are like, they want to do this with their life, but I don't really know what to do with my life exactly. I think that would be like, that's a cool thing to do because like we haven't really seen that with Peter. So it'd be sick to do it with Miles. And with Peter, he's going through the whole thing where you're like, oh, I live at my Aunt May's house, which is a great way to introduce Queens and Brooklyn and all of those places. Like, I forgot to tell, I, I forgot to talk about that, but like, I'm so excited for the landmarks in this, this game. It's gonna be so cool. All right, now I'd like to talk about Venom. His design, beautiful. I absolutely love it. It looks so good. One thing that it does remind me of though is the Web of Shadows Venom and I don't like that. I don't like that look for Venom. For some reason, he looks chubby to me. He looks a little too beefy. He looks kind of fat. His head looks like a f devil dog. I can't explain myself. He just does. And the logo, oh my god, that logo was f***ing awful. It was like so thick and it didn't, it, it looked so weird. It looked like a five-year-old drew it. It looks so bad. Who's Venom? I don't really know. I'm just gonna play the game. I really just don't want to speculate on it. It could be Peter, it could be Harry. Eddie Brock's not gonna be in the game, so don't even put that in the comments. Um, My brother suggested it could be Harry's mom, which I don't think that makes any f sense, but you do you, bro. But yeah, that's Venom. Welcome to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I pretty much just made this video because like, you know, the poll and everything. And like, I just wanted to give thoughts about this game. For real though, like, I, I, I'm excited for this game, bro. October 20th can't come any sooner. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, see ya.